Thanks up, fuckers. Um, uh, did a bit of gardening in lockdown. Um, dug out some agapanthers. Has anyone ever dug out agapanthers? Yeah. He's in, there's two types of people in this world, those that have dug out agapanthers <laughs> and those that haven't. A lot of the people that haven't are sitting there going, what the fuck is agapanthers? <laughs> if you want to get your phone out, Google it. That's your preferred search engine. Get on it. <laughs> but the, the agapanthers, they're the really long-stemmed flowers and it's either like white or purple at the top. And, they're everywhere. Like, you're going to walk past one tomorrow and go, oh, Agapanthers. <laughs> Geraldine Hickey. Like, just... <laughs> anyway, there's two types of people, those that have dug out Agapanthers, those that haven't. This is mostly for the people that have dug out Agapanthers. <laughs> How fucking hard is it digging out Agapanthers? <laughs> an, an absolute nightmare. Who would have thought? Like, it's got such a dense root system. Like, you find someone else, you go, mate, have you dug out agapanthers? You go, oh, I've dug out agapanthers, mate. <laughs> How did you do? What's your, hot, what's your hot tips for digging out agapanthers? I'm like, mate, you've got to check the weather. Oh, there's rain coming tomorrow. That's a good day to get out in the garden. Get out in the garden. Go out there with a the wood splitter. Just hack away at those agapanthers. Just get that root system dissipated, and then rain comes in, soaks it up, it's nice and moist the next day, then come in with a shovel, like, after it's been rained on, yeah? Like, you might try and hire a landscape gardener, and they'll come over and be like, G'day, mate, um, yeah, just a couple of things I want done. Like, I'm thinking about um, replanting that tree from there over to there, maybe putting um, in some rose bushes there. That, that might look nice. And um, maybe a pond. I'd love a pond. That would be cool. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, that sounds... Yeah, love it. And then you'll go, oh, and also I need to dig out those agapanthers. And they'll go, I'm not available anymore. <laughs> like, that is... I walked into my local hardware store and I was like, mate, I'm trying to dig out some agapanthers. And he went, oh, agapanthers? Agapanthers? Aga Dynamite all five. Like, he gets it. He understands it. <laughs> it's an immediate bond straight away. Anyway, I dug out some agapanthers and... Um, <laughs> dug out a few other things. Then we dug a bit of a hole. And then in its place, uh, we put a lesbian pit. <laughs> few people going, what is a lesbian pit? <laughs> Don't Google it. Um, <laughs> just... <laughs> I mean, maybe wait till you get home for that. <laughs> yeah. um, but a lesbian pit, it's just a, it's just a pit built by lesbians. <laughs> yeah? Of which I am one. Yeah? Thankfully, so is my partner. And... Uh, so we built a lesbian pit. So some people, uh, you might know it as a, like a sunken patio. Um, it's just like a paved area in our backyard that we built. We dug a hole, we paved it with bricks, we put a wall up on one side, and in the middle we put a fire pit, put some chairs around it, um, and that's our lesbian pit, yeah? Um, <laughs> and then once a month we move those chairs to the side and take out the fire pit and fill it with mud and wrestle. Yeah, that's, that's a, it's a lesbian pit, yeah? Um, and then once a year we sacrifice men in there. You know. you know, took out the agapanthers, put in some Penrith panthers, yeah? Loves it. You guys are the best. I've been Jordan Hickey. Thank you very much. Good night.